Hello, El Capitan. Welcome back to my channel. This is your next 48. We are doing episode 16 and 17 for El Capi, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Let's see what the messages are for you. Okay, let's see. El Capi. Let's see. Okay, let's see. El Capitan. Okay, we have the Devil card coming out. We have the Magician and we have the Four of Wands. You could be dealing with a Piscean. They got very similar energy in their reading and we do have the Five of Swords here. So look, it looks like you're dealing with a flat out manipulator. This person could be somebody in your actual home, a roommate, a friend, a lover, a relative, whoever this is. Or somebody has very bad habits. It looks like somebody has a tendency to like manipulate. Someone talks fast. They have someone, I'm getting to somebody talks with their hands, but this person, it could be a Capricorn. They have their hands in a lot of different things, uh, but I'm getting this person is very skilled. All right. They could be a, they could be a master manipulator or somebody, somebody who's just very skilled. I'm getting to somebody is working on a home. Somebody's working on your home. All right. There could actually be a Capricorn working on your home, but this person kind of has ill intentions about you. Maybe they like you or they're watching you in this weird way, or they're watching your children in this weird, weird way. Maybe you need to watch this person, but something is shifting here and it's making you happy. So we're going to see what that is. All right. So let's see what this is. All right, Kathy. So this is you. All right, let's see. It's almost like it, it's you're manipulating a situation where you get a home. All right, that's what I'm getting here. What is the devil card? Yeah, we have the queen of swords. We have the hangman. All right, this is a little sticky. We have the page of pentacles. Yeah, so it looks like you're getting a home, a new home, it's, um, it's, or a proof of one. All right, yeah, so I'm getting a new home here. I'm getting it's a high-rise a, a apartment or a high-rise I'm not getting a gated community, but I'm getting it is, it's nice. Okay, it could be in a different city. I'm getting somewhere that's very dry though, but it almost looks like you're, you're seeing a situation different. You're, you're seeing something, you're like, hold on, wait. I can, I can get something out of this if I just wait or if I play my cards right, I can actually win here. Okay, so I'm getting it's a new job or a new home, maybe both, maybe working from home or maybe even a child, maybe you want a baby. So it's, it's almost like you're trying to manipulate somebody into like giving you something because it's like you're, you're seeing something differently or you're, you're kind of seeing like, what can I actually get out of this? All right, let's see what this is. What is the hangman energy, please? What is the hangman? I'm getting too like this. You're over here. It's like you could be talking to this, this uh, air sign. Okay, but it's almost like you have all this stuff behind you. So I'm not sure what you're saying. So you could be talking to someone. I'm getting that you could be talking, you could be at an interview and you're kind of just telling like little white lies about your kids, about your home, where you live. Okay. So this could be getting support or getting help. You kind of have to kind of cheat the system and you want somebody to, it's like you want somebody to view you in a certain way so they can give you this assistance, give you this job, give you this home. So this could be an actual interview. All right. You, you want, you're manipulating what you say, of course, because you want somebody to look at you as a champ. Somebody, you want somebody to look at you as the right candidate. All right, so I'm getting you're talking to someone here, and it's, it's almost like you're just com completely lying to them. All right. What is the hangman? What is the hanged man, please? Yeah, the seven of swords, just flat out lying. It's almost like you're justifying the lies. It's like, well, I did, I did tell that lie, but that lie was cool because it was for me to get a job or it was for me to get this housing or... It was for me to get my kids back or whatever the case may be. It's almost like, well, you're, you're kind of seeing lying in a different way. You're like, hmm, maybe it's okay to lie. I want, what's the seven of swords? Or it's okay to hold back a little bit. All right. What's the seven of swords? But I'm getting, okay. What's the seven of swords? Now the 10 of wands is showing up under there. So I'm getting to be careful because that lie could catch up to you. Okay. That lie can turn into more lies and more lies and more lies. And it may become harder to cover those lies up. So just be careful if you're just lying your ass off. But I'm getting to like somebody could be seeing themselves like, damn, I'm a liar. Like a lot, I mean, or somebody's like sitting here looking at what they said in a different way. 
All right, what's the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords energy, please? Seven of Swords. What is the Seven? Okay, the High Priestess. Yeah, it's like you know somebody is lying to you, but you're like, hmm, maybe they're doing it for a reason. It's like you're, it's like you're trying to sit here and justify somebody's lie. You're trying to figure out, you're, I don't know. I, I'm getting that's what you're doing. Maybe maybe because you have kids with, you have a child with this person or you live with them or they're supporting you. It's like you're sitting here justifying this. You're like, hmm, well, they didn't mean it like that or they didn't mean what they said or they were just angry when they said it or they're just bitter because the, the person in their past hurt them. It's like you're making excuses for this person to lie to you and hurt you. It's because you don't want to believe that they're that they are they are a con art, they're a manipulator. You don't want to believe that, so you so you lie to yourself and say, no, they're a good person. What's the Queen of Swords? Yeah, we have the King of Swords showing up. All right, so I'm getting like somebody is bitter. Okay. Yeah, like yeah. So what's what is the uh, what is the Queen of Swords? What is the Queen of Swords, please? What is the Queen of Swords? Yeah, the two of cups. Yes, it's, I'm, we have we have the empress showing up. So I'm getting somebody is confronting you about a third party. Somebody's confronting you about a mistress. Like somebody knows that you've been lying about a mistress. Somebody knows that you've been lying about this person. They're confronting you about this. Like somebody wants proof as well with the page of pentacles. Somebody could be asking you like, let me see your phone. Let me check this. Let me check that. All right, what's the page of pentacles, please? What is the page of pentacles? Now, it's almost like because you are in love, you justify lying to this person. You just you justify having a mistress or a third party because you're like, hey, I love them. All right, what's the page of pentacles? Or they treat me well with the empress. What's the page of pentacles? It's like you're almost, it's like you're almost trying to talk yourself into being part of a third party because you love them. They have a nice home. They treat you well. Maybe they give you things, buy you gifts. What's the page of pentacles, please? Or it's almost like somebody's beguiling you. Like, no, it's, it's, you know, you're... It's not what you think here. Take this gift. Take this token of my appreciation, this token of my love. I love you. Let's move in together. Or like somebody could even be like offering you to move in or buying you a home, offering to pay your rent. It's almost like to get your mind off of what they're lying to you about. And I'm getting that's what you're seeing. You're, you're, um, you're gaining clarity about that. It's like this person's been lying to me. They've been like trying to pull the wool over my eyes. It's like you're asking serious questions. On, like you, want, you want the truth. Okay, what's the page of pentacles? What is the page of pentacles? Now, this could be your child. Your child is lying. Maybe you're like, do you have a boyfriend? Are you having sex? And they're like, no. You're like, I know you're having sex. I know you have a boyfriend. I know you have a girlfriend. I saw it in your phone. Or I saw your little friend over here yesterday. Are you having sex with them? So this could, this, so this could be a child. This could be your child. What's the page of pentacles? What is the page of pentacles, please? One more card. Yeah, we have the we have the chariot moving on. So I'm I'm getting this person is like offering you a lot. But when I when I see this, somebody could be even offering you a vehicle, offering you a home, offering you everything. All right, but it's what is it's but it's like it's almost like if you agree to be a mistress, this person will give you whatever you want. Give me one more card to just for the entire energy for the entire reading. All right. So it's almost like somebody's trying to talk you into being their mistress. Okay, and they're, they're promising to take care of you. I'll buy you a car. I'll, I'll put you up real nice. You know, I'll treat you well. Okay, what's the, uh, what is the, uh, give me one more card for the overall energy for this reading. Please. One card for Cappy. One card, please. One card. Yeah, we have the world card. This is going to end. Yeah, I'm getting somebody who's going to go ghost. Yeah, someone's going to get dumped here, especially if you don't agree to go along with this. If you don't agree to be a mistress or if you don't agree to be a secret or to keep things secret, they're going to end it. They're going to end up dumping you and ghosting you. All right. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.